Well, we now know this shooting stemmed from some sort of altercation between a group of individuals outside of Graham Kapowson. But what makes this so scary, according to the Pierce County Sheriff's Office, is that it all happened only about 10 yards off the school's campus. Graham Kapowson High School went on lockdown Tuesday afternoon and worried parents went right to the scene. Yeah, baby. Parents like Leah Baker. Yes. Frightened and desperate for answers. I need to come sign you out. Are they letting you out? And that's her son on the phone. Are they releasing you? He was one of many students who texted their families as they sat huddled inside the school after learning of a shooting that took place at about 2.30 p.m. just off campus. Didn't really hit reality until like we were sitting there for like an hour and everyone started freaking out after then. The Pierce County Sheriff's Office says the victims were both students at Graham Kapowson and sought refuge there in the moments after they were shot. One of them went inside the school and went into a bathroom by a locker room. The other one went down in a parking lot by a football field. So initial information was is there shots fired at the school, two down. A scary scenario, but one that law enforcement, the school, and its students have all trained for. You never think it's going to happen at the school your children go to, and then you get a text from your child and says there's a shooting at the school over lockdown. So as moms and dads rushed to a reunification site set up at nearby Frontier Middle, deputies swept the entire area to make sure the threat was over, and then began the search for a suspect and motive. We're going through all the different theories we're hearing about altercation from a football game, a planned fight, gang ties, a whole bunch of different theories. Bye. At least 70 parents. And when we saw Leah Baker next. Cops came, escorted us out, did a pat down on everyone. She and her son were grateful to be headed home. Yeah, I knew he wasn't one of the kids that were shot. I pray for them and their parents, but it was still, until I had actual eyes on him, it was still scary. Just because you never know. And again, just into our newsroom within the last few minutes, this is a picture of the two suspects that Pierce County Sheriff's deputies are still looking for at this hour. We can also tell you that one person is already in custody. Detectives have also released new video of the Chevy Impala, the green Chevy Impala that the suspects were seen inside that vehicle when they were leaving this scene. They are urging the public, anyone with information to please come forward. And for an update on how the victims in this shooting are doing, we want to head to my colleague Natalie Swaby. She's live at the hospital where they're being treated. Heather, that's right. And here at Tacoma General, I spoke with James Osley. He says his 16 year old brother was shot in the leg and the abdomen. He underwent surgery. He's expected to be OK. But tonight, James says he wants to make it clear. He says after the shooting, he heard rumors and theories that this may have been a gang related incident. He says his brother is not involved in gangs at all. Now, again, his brother and one other victim were brought here to Tacoma General. And what we understand is that after they were rushed here, this afternoon, Graham's fire chief says both teens were alert and talking. He says initially one was in critical condition, one was in serious condition. They were transported by ambulance. Both underwent surgery. Both are expected to survive. Tonight, the school district sent out this tweet. It reads, our thoughts and prayers are with the families and students involved with this shooting today. This is a scary situation, and we are proud of how our staff, students, and families have been and are still reacting to it. And the high school is expected to have extra security on hand tomorrow, as well as additional counselors. Live in Tacoma, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.